Hey, what's going on there, everybody? So I've had a few comments uh, asking me in the past and just recently since yesterday uh, if I could make a video of basically all of the uh, NECA figures that I currently own. Um, and so I thought I'd do that for you guys today um, just to get a video out there. Um, I do have a new desk. Uh, I'm actually going to have another video straight up after this one. Uh, I've been making a lot of life changes um, and things that have made it a little bit more easier for me in terms of my setup and as well as I needed a new desk because the other one was falling apart. Um, and so this one is going to be a lot easier for me, a lot more ergonomic to allow me to uh, do my studies a lot easier too because I can push my keyboard out of the way and have my books in front of me. So. I needed to make some changes, so I'll have that in a separate video in terms of the desk here. Um, for now, I'm just gonna talk about my NECA products here. Um, so anyways, I used to have my desk, I thought I'd briefly go over this. So the way that I would have my setup um, going into my NECA figures above me is my, I used to have like an L-shaped corner desk um, that would actually be about right there. Um, and then the shelves above me is where my NECA figures are. Um, if I ever get to moving where I'm going, I'm gonna to try to have these guys actually positioned behind the camera. So anytime that I'm actually on my webcam, you can kind of see them displayed in the back. Uh, but for now, this is kind of what I've been dealt with um, in terms of my setup. I could move these shelves around and whatnot, but I feel like it's kind of pointless since it seems like I'll be moving here pretty shortly. Um, so I just needed something pretty quick. Um, so these are all the NECA figures that I actually have had uh, bought over the course of the years um, that have been sitting above me and you could never really see them because um, it would be above my uh, computer setup. And my very first NECA product that I ever owned was this Texas Chainsaw Massacre um, NECA figure. And when I didn't know anything about NECA figures, I I've always been a big horror guy, but I never knew uh, that these figures existed and how greatly detailed they are. Um, my girlfriend was the one that uh, kindly bought me this one. So this is my first setup that I ever had. And she was the one that bought this one in particular for me. Um, and I just love the way that he looks. He is just like so perfectly detailed. Like I, if, it, if anything that I can give props for in terms of NECA is how great, how greatly detailed um, their figures are compared to other uh, figures out there like McFarlane figures. I've never been a fan of their figures. I used to have um, the Walking Dead McFarlane figures and I sold all those as loose because um, all the accessories were constantly breaking on me. Um, and I sold them all for about 70 bucks. I had probably 20 plus Walking Dead figures and I got rid of those pretty quickly off offer up. Some guy wanted them off me, don't know why. I think those figures are shit in my opinion. NECA has their own issues too in terms of quality control. <laughs> I've already talked about that in other videos, but it seems for me in any way, I've had good luck with my NECA figures. And the only time I've ever had one thing break on me is my 2018 Michael knife right here. The handle, um, the handle kind of broke off. Not the whole handle, but a piece like, uh, because it's like a like a two-part piece, the actual wood kind of fell off of the handle, and I just quickly glued that back together, and it was no big pro, uh, no big deal. Um, but yeah, my Leatherface, this is probably my favorite, only because I am a big Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy. I love this figure. This one is by far my favorite figure. And of course, all the accessories are inside the box there. You can kind of see the head. I tend to keep my NECA figures pretty iconic looking. I don't like to drift too far off into accessories like i usually like to keep them how they usually originally just look from the movie either from like poster art uh things like that i don't tend to use accessories that um are like how do i put this another customization option kind of like leatherface will use for example so he was the uh pretty woman uh variant right so unless that was a separate figure which i think NECA should make a pretty woman version of leatherface i would totally eat that shit up but like the grandmother head up there, I wouldn't technically put that on him just because he only had a split second of screen time with that mask on. Um, this is obviously his iconic mask, his killing face mask. So anyways, moving on. Um, I believe this was my second NECA figure, the Chucky. I saw him at a Target. I went ahead and picked his ass up. These are becoming a lot more rare to find nowadays in a Target. Um, you won't really see these guys too much now, so you best pick this guy up before he becomes a lot more rare. Um, I think I'm going to change out the Child's Play 3 head, though. I think I'm going to swap it back to the Child's Play 2 one. Um, he does come with the Child's Play 3, the original, and then he does come with the common good guy uh, face like that if you want him to just look like a good guy doll. Um, and then he also comes with a box that you can display him in if you wanted to just kind of make him look like a doll. So. 
<clears throat> you can make him look like Chucky or you can make him look like a good guy doll. So that's a great option. He does come with a shit ton of accessories too. So I think that's why NECA still marks this as a $30 ultimate, just because he, come with, he comes with so many accessories to kind of make up for his small size. So another great figure. Um, I didn't buy too many of my Nightmare on Elm Street or too many Nightmare on Elm Street figures only because they're pretty much all the same for the most part. I just bought the part one because uh, I think he looks the most iconic. Um, I just don't see a need to buy part two or part three. This one's just fine for me. I'm in between whether or not I want to get part two. Part two seems pretty cool, um, but I don't like to have too many of the same figure for the most part as I've mentioned in my Jason that we're now going to talk about right here. Also, really quick, I think the Freddy, I bought him at a Target as well. Actually, I bought both of these figures at the same Target at the same time. Um, this Jason here, um, I never had a Jason yet, so I was like, okay, I'll pick up this Jason. It wasn't particularly the one that I wanted, as I now have a iconic looking one, and now I have part two, but this one was just one to have on my shelf, just to have some kind of Friday the 13th uh, NECA figure. Um, he's not particularly my favorite, of course, but I do like the amount of accessories he comes with too, and he also looks like a zombie underneath the mask, so that was a double plus for me. Um, so about a few reasons why I picked up this one, just to have a Jason more than anything else. Um, and then once NECA, announced these Halloween figures like holy shit I was on board because most of NECA's old um, Michael figures are pretty dated they're not as articulated um, and when I found out because the 2018 here came first before the Halloween 2 one came out so um, they announced the 2018 one and I had to pick him up just because dude it's Michael Myers like great shit dude like for a, a really detailed Michael figure like we've never had that yet and so I immediately picked him up. Um, I ordered him, I believe off Amazon. Yeah, I believe I, I, I could have been eBay or Amazon. I can't remember where I got my 2018 one, but it was from the NECA official, um, not some bootleg company. So, and yeah, apologies. I got a lot of dust up here too. These guys are just collecting dust sitting on these shelves, but, um, and I think this is like the first accessory that actually lights up too. You get a light up pumpkin that comes with this that flickers uh, with this 2018 Michael. So, great figure. Um, then the Halloween 2, uh, I believe I ordered him off of Amazon as well. And then he came around like Christmas time or October time. I can't really remember. I think he came out around October of last year. Um, so this guy came out about a year ago. Uh, in October, not 2020, but 2019, that is. Um, and I think I purchased him on Amazon. And yeah, another great figure, great detail. Um, he looks just like the one from Halloween's one and two. Like, uh, these are by far like my favorite, like Michael figures. Like, if you're gonna start up your NECA collection of horror figures, I would go with the Halloween figures, hands down, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I think Ghostface, Ghostface is a great one too. Um, I could really fuck off with like the Friday the 13th ones, but those those would be my top picks right there. Um, and so, in saying that, we have it. Both the new one and the old one here. Uh, <laughs> this guy is extremely hard to have him stand up on his own because the balloons make him top heavy a bit. And just because of his bulky size, it doesn't give him a whole lot of... Uh, um, a lot to stand on really so this figure is probably not my favorite but just because it's uh Tim Curry I had to pick him up um I kind of like the original it more than I like the new one but I do like the the design choice that they went with the new it like I like him but I'm not really a fan of the new it movies they're okay at best but you got the iconic clown look dude like nothing tops that so um I believe I picked up this it figure uh, I think I picked him at a Target as well. And then this guy, just like my um, part two Jason, I picked up this, I actually have purchased this figure twice. And I, I, the reason for that is because my girlfriend's nephew, um, as a gift, I gave my first it part one to him. Um, so he owns that. But then I decided I really wanna get him back again. So I purchased him a second time. Um, and I got him at my local mountains at that comic book shop that I've been mentioning uh, in my videos. 
uh, that's up in the mountains. And uh, yeah, he always has a great supply of NECA figures. I love the guy. Like I'd love to give him my business considering he's a small business, uh, family owned that is. So as long as if he keeps these guys in stock, you definitely have my business. Um, so I purchased him at the comic book shop that I'm mentioning. Uh, not a whole lot to say about it. This is actually probably my first NECA figure that I've also broken and it was on my own fault though. So I'm not bashing NECA for this because I was very interested. Um, so my girlfriend's nephew, his, uh, I don't know how to do this with the camera in my hand here, but if you can see, uh, the little ruffles that are coming out of the hand there, his on his NECA figure actually twists and turns. I tried doing that on mine and I inevitably broke it. <laughs> So that's why there's a little bit of gray up in there, because that's a bunch of JB Weld that's cocked into the uh, ruffles to keep the hand on there. Um, you can't really see it, it blends in pretty well. So that is a that is my own bad. I, I'm fully aware that I broke him, so that wasn't a, a defect. So moving on to the exclusive Ash. I've always wanted to own a Evil Dead Ash, a young version, not the Ash versus Evil Dead. I could really give a shit less about that one. Part of me wants to pick him up, maybe in the future, but for now, because I have seen him a few times in Target, but for now, I just really love the original one from Evil Dead 2 and uh, Army of Darkness. This one's a great figure. I purchased him off eBay off of some guy for about 40 bucks. I think it was 40, 50. Uh, the reason why this one's so expensive is because it's a Walmart exclusive and it's kind of hard to find. Um, so this figure goes anywhere from like $80 now, brand new, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know what the market is for this guy anymore. Um, this guy actually is a repackage of the two pack that comes with Ed. If I, if I remember, I think that's his name, Ed, the uh, zombie, the Deadite version. Um, it's the same figure, essentially the same Ash, only they repackaged him just by himself. Um, I'm, I have done a modification to this Ash, uh, I used a razor blade to do this too. Um, if you do pick up this ash, he's actually not able to hold the shotgun this well. Like I have, if my camera will focus on the right thing. Let's see. Yeah, it's trying to focus, but not too great. Anyways, so you see these fingers? Um, so when you pick up this finger, his fingers are actually glued together, molded together. And what I did is I carefully took a uh, razor blade and I cut down the finger to basically there we go. I cut down the finger to the fingers to basically separate them. That way he's able to grip his shotgun like he should be able to. So a little modification to the figure that I think you should all do, because um, then he'll actually be able to hold his shotgun right. Um, I don't know why NECA fucked that up, um, but that isn't the only figure that I did that to as well. I think I failed to mention. I did that to another one of these figures. I can't remember what one it was. I'm looking. I don't know, I thought I'd cut down the fingers on another one of my NECA figures and I can't remember what, oh, it was my IT figure here actually. I did it to this guy too. I made his fingers more um, adjustable by cutting down the fingers to make them separated so you can articulate it a little bit better. So if you know that your NECA figure, you can do that. Um, if you know that you can do that without making the figure look botched up and fucked up, totally will recommend it. Allows for a far wider, greater uh, variety of articulation within the hands. All right, so moving on to the Ghostface. Uh, Ghostface, I ordered him off of HorrorMerch.com. Um, they have a, it's basically a website that has a wide variety of horror merchandise. So anything that you can think of from movies to t-shirts to just a bunch of licensed horror stuff, you get the idea. And they do carry NECA figures as well. So I purchased him um, back in early December. He was released obviously pretty recent, like early like December 7th I believe but I didn't actually get the figure until early January unfortunately so I wasn't able to do a review on him so quickly um, but I have done some modifications to him um, that were needed to make him look a little more iconic uh, the iconic uh, the ghost face scream in any way uh, I have tried to this I don't know I don't really like the material they used on the cloak so much um, it's kind of an elastic stretchy material and I ended up kind of botching the dangly bits that come off his arm. I tried to iron these, um, not by putting too much heat on it, and they still ended up, just to get them more straighter essentially, and it still just kind of wanted to curl a lot, so I don't know what the solution is to that. Hopefully somebody else has a better solution to get the, um, 
little spiky bits at the bottom and all the dangly bits to kind of be a lot more um, straighter, I guess. Um, I tried my best, but yeah, inevitably there, there has to be a better solution. I also cut um, the bottoms a bit to make them a little bit more spikier. They're a little bit more circular uh, if you ever pick up this figure, so I wanted them to look a little more spiky. Uh, more like a point, I guess. And then my girlfriend's nephew, because he's a big scream guy, which I also will get into his neck of figure that I bought for him, his ghost face. And I try to compare it with mine because uh, I bought him the same ghost face ultimate um, as a gift. That was recent. I literally just gave that to him yesterday. But um, he was ghost face for Halloween. Uh, and he allowed me to take a piece of his cloak off of his ghost face costume so I can make a belt around him. So I cut the... Uh, piece of the costume bit that he gave me to tie a belt around him because he typically has a belt, especially in Dead by Daylight. Uh oh, he wants to fall. Uh, especially in Dead by Daylight, you'll notice he also has a belt uh, for the classic ghost face uh, costume. So, a little modification that I did there is I gave him a belt. <clears throat> and so, his ghost face, and anyway, this is probably the worst quality control figure though. He may look great, but everything about this figure um, is just wrong. <laughs> So, uh, some people, as you've probably already watched my Ghostface NECA review, some people have reported, and I've seen it firsthand, that the arm joints are notorious for breaking on this Ghostface, so you gotta be very gentle when you get the uh, articulation going in his elbow joints, um, because they can break. Uh, and then for my figure in particular, though, I had glue on his left knee, and then there was kind of like a paint um, scuff or like mold, like melted paint on the inner thigh part of his right leg. Uh, so that was kind of like, what the hell? And then not to mention that the plastic doesn't feel very high quality in the legs or in the hands. It, fe it feels just very cheap um, compared to all of my other NECA figures that I've had. And then when I got uh, my nep or my girlfriend's nephew's NECA figure of Ghostface, um, and then I I felt the quality of his. Um, it seems like maybe NECA might be listening to us, but I don't know. I have no idea if maybe um, uh, if maybe he just got a better figure. Um, but he was able to articulate the elbows just fine, like no problems at all. They weren't stiff. They didn't break. Um, and then the hands, the quality of the plastic felt just ten times better than the figure that I have in front of you. So I don't know if NECA was listening to us and maybe did something in production for the newer Ghostface that are uh, releasing. I don't know. But you might have better quality control if you pick him up now is what I'm saying. So I don't know. <clears throat> Take it with a grain of salt. You may or may not get a good Ghostface Ultimate. Um, but moving on. So my next one that I bought, it actually wasn't part two. It was this guy that I bought next. Um, actually, no. Let me see here. Trying to think, was it him that I purchased next? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, no, no, it was him that I purchased next. So this Jason, I just purchased him recently out in Tucson, Arizona at a Target, um, literally like two weeks ago, two and a half, two and a half weeks ago. Uh, I was looking for an iconic Jason, found him, picked him up, not a whole lot to say about him. Um, not my favorite, I think I should have went with the final chapter one rather than part three, so maybe in the future I might pick up part uh, final chapter, but he's for the most part the same damn Jason, just different paint. And as I've mentioned, I don't really care to purchase another Jason, considering if it's the same sculpt but different paint, it's like, why? It, there's no point. Um, but if you want to have every horror Jason, be my guest. Um, and then the next one that's actually sitting down here that I purchased recently as well, I've been literally on a NECA binge, guys. Like, I just wanted to, I saw these guys and I had to pick them up just because they're so hard to find. Found him at my local Target, uh, the one that I, I always go to, and uh, Creepshow. So I did a recent review of this guy, my Creepshow figure. He doesn't really belong with the rest of them up there, so that's why he's not really an ultimate, so that's why I throw him down here with my comic book, so I thought it fit because this guy is the creep. He shows you a bunch of stories about uh, horror stories within comic books. I think he's holding right in his hand there, so he was the perfect combination for my desk up here. Um, great figure, uh, not a whole lot to say about it. He's a seven inch figure, which is also why he stands off from the rest of the figures up top, because I think they're all six inches, and this guy's a seven inch. <clears throat> Most of these uh, cloth figures are seven inches. Um, and going with, while I'm saying cloth, um, 
talking about cloth uh, NECA figures or figures in general, I don't really care for a lot of cloth figures. Uh, this one fits, this one works though, because he obviously is wearing a cloak, so it works perfectly fine in this regard. Um, or even the ghost face, it works totally fine in that regard as well. But there's some that where they try to make like say the pants like cloth, the shirt cloth, it just looks too baggy on the figure and I find it just degrades the quality or the look of the figure in my opinion. I've never been a big cloth goods kind of uh, collector. I think they're stupid in my opinion, either that or they need to figure out a way to refine it to make it look more believable. Because uh, in my opinion, it just starts looking like a doll. Um, it doesn't really even look like a figure anymore. So that's my two cents of why I don't really purchase a lot of cloth figures rather than the just all plastic. And then my last one that I've purchased recently that I just did one uh, a video on about a day ago is my part two. I got him in my local mountains when I purchased my girlfriend's nephew's um, ghost face over here. I uh, found him up in the mountains and I needed a part two just because he was his own unique sculpt. And so I picked him up, not a whole lot to say about that. Picked him up at that comic book shop just as I got the it figure. Um, so he had him on hand and so I purchased him. And that's pretty much it in terms of my NECA uh, collection up here. There's still more to come. If NECA releases, I hope to God they do, they acquire the license for Dead by Daylight. I will be like flies on horseshit with that stuff. And I will be purchasing every single one, man, if they ever uh, get uh, NECA on board to make um, Dead by Daylight um, NECA figures. I've been talking about this in a lot of re my recent videos that NECA really ought to partner up with behavior and start making dead by daylight um figures because i think they will sell i really do um people may not be familiar with the game but just because of how unique the art style is for dead by daylight and anybody that's a big horror fan like myself may be interested in learning about the game and picking up the figure or just buying the figure because it looks fucking cool i don't know um that's my two cents but i've talked to neca directly and they just have no plans of getting the license to make dead by daylight neca figures and that's really a shame um to me in my opinion uh, in my opinion i don't know hopefully in the future they wise up and uh actually go ahead and make those but for now we're not going to see anything in terms of uh dead by daylight dead by daylight does need to get some more merchandise i think um their merchandise is really lacking, in my opinion. Most of the shit that they have on their website is pretty bland and boring. Um, that's my two cents. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the NECA figures that I have or anything about your NECA figures and the maybe the quality control or your experiences with NECA figures or what you want, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear what your collection is and what you want in the future or what you want to see in the future. Hopefully you guys have a good one. I'll see you in my next video. I'm about to do another one of my room overlay that I got going on here. So hopefully you guys have a good one and I'll see you later. Peace out.